It's often said that no-tillers choosing cover crops for their farms should start by having goals in mind. Uh, one of those goals could be scavenging nitrogen in the soil and holding it for the next cash crop rather than letting nitrogen run off fields into the watersheds. Uh, so how much nitrogen will be released by the cover crop and when is a question that no-tillers might ask. Uh, the age and stage of the cover crop when it dies and how fast it decomposes are important factors that no-tillers can't entirely control. But no-tillers can still optimize this nutrient availability by knowing the carbon-nitrogen ratio of the residue in many popular cover crops. Uh, Eileen Kladivko, who is a soil physicist for Purdue University, uh, says the carbon-nitrogen ratio in cover crop residue greater than 25 to 1 may cause nitrogen immobilization, with smaller ratios releasing nitrogen more quickly, she says. Cereal rye, for example, has a uh, ratio of 26 to 1 to 37 to 1. Uh, corn stover has 57 to 1, and wheat straw has a ratio of 80 to 1. Uh, if you look at legume cover crops, however, they have lower carbon levels and will release it quickly as they decompose, uh, Kladivko says. Harry Vetch has a ratio of 11 to 1, for example. Uh, Kladivko says that legumes have excess nitrogen in their tissues and the microbes release that nitrogen so you get mineralization. You can learn more about uh, Eileen Kladivko's lessons about cover crops and some interesting facts she shared about winter drain flow and runoff in our main feature story in this edition of ETIP. Thanks for listening and make it a successful day.